Hello and welcome to Zem Inform series with Inam Ajmal. In today's lecture, we will learn about absolute layout. Why absolute layout? The reason is if we achieve desired design, the pixel perfect designs and designs like this, then we use absolute layout. By the way, in the next video, we will make this type of UI maybe tomorrow how to position the elements in uh, absolute layouts absolute layout use two properties layout bounds and layout flags so what is layout bounds layout bounds will have four parameters you can say x y width and height x and y both together determine the position of an element width and height determine the size of an element then absolute flags what absolute flags do Absolute flags interpret the absolute bounds you use. It's a critical thing, but you will see when we start coding. Uh, here you can see the word proportional. What does that mean? Proportional, all the values which are in between from 0 to 1 are called proportional values, such as 0 0.1, 0. 2, 0 0.005, 0 0.5, these are all proportional values where 0 means 0% and 1 means 100%. All the values which will be in between from 0 to 1 are called proportional values. We can also use 12, 100, 200, these values are not proportional values. Let's see how we use. So, absolute layout dot layout bounds where we determine the bounds of our element where we need to place that element the height and width of that element so in layered bounds these are four parameters x y width and height and if i do like this zero uh, zero on x axis zero on y axis one width 0 0.2 height so zero means in x axis zero means zero position by zero one means hundred percent we need width of hundred percent and height 0 0.2 which means two percent these are all from one to from zero to one range that's why we use layout flags all these are all proportional values so we use all flag of all now let's say if i change the width to 10 points then what i will do see these values are proportional and only these this value is proportional so these two values both together will determine the position so i use position proportional this value is in proportional so i write height proportional let's take another example here you will see the x axis is not a proportional value except x all are proportional values so what should i write y proportional these two determine the size so i write size proportional that's enough let's jump into the code okay so here we are in the code first thing first let make it absolute layout and the closing tag should be absolute layout as well okay so do you see by default even on the top where x is 0 and y is 0 by default it start from that position we don't need to determine any layout bounds and layout flags let use box view uh, box view okay Let's see. Box view. Let's let give him it a background color of 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 of, of navy, I guess. And the closing tag. You can use this closing tag, and you can also use that closing tag. Doesn't matter. You can use both. I probably like to use this one. Okay. So uh, now it's time to use layout bounds. So layout bounds will take 
four values first one is x second one is first one is x second one is y then width 1 mean 100% and height 0.2 mean 20% nothing happens because we need to determine the flags now all these values are proportional so I use all Do you see that you will get a box view with navy color now if I change the height to 3 see the height is changing and if I change the height to 10 around now it is not 10 we need to adjust the flags again so it is position proportional position proportional because position values are in 0 and 1 range then the width proportional okay you see the 10 points above there now you can increase it to 30 40 90 any value you want you can do it like this <coughs> okay now take an other box view change its color red sorry for the disturbance now you see it is overlay on it you change to you need to change its width 0.5 mean half of the screen and if you place it into a center you can like this it is on y axis center of y axis and if you want to make it center of uh, x axis you can go it like that okay now it is on center if you want to overlay it you can do it like this now it is overlay on the previous box view <coughs> sorry that's how you can add the element at the bottom just change the y to 1 which means 100% and it went at the bottom of the screen that's it for today wait for the next video we will do the proper ui with the absolute layout thanks for watching goodbye